nothing goes right. <laughs> nothing at all. <laughs> And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly. The show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with this week. Steam drops one last proton before 2018. And it's kind of a bit noisy. Pretty neat. And we're going to talk about Open Sim City 2K, the one that kind of got nuked from orbit by EA. It's back from the dead, minus those copyrighted assets. Serious Sam community has a new campaign for you. You gotta work for it, though, and Discord opens up the floodgates. But will it be another Steam? The Game Off Game Jam just wrapped up, and with over 300-plus games submitted, we have more fun games for Linux. Dead in Vinland finally has a Linux port. At least as a public beta, you can test now. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm Old Man Ben, joined every week by our Tam Canadian podcaster. You know him, you love him. That's one Jordan Sfang, and all the way from Space LA, that is Jill yeah. and Brian. Yay. And together with you at home. That's right, chilling out there. That's you. Helping us form that last little bit we like to call Cocaine Voltron. Suck it. You don't pick it up anymore. Hey, before yeah. we get going. ASMR. <laughs> oh, that totally worked. That totally worked, by the way, when I was uh, levelating your voice when you were doing the ASMR. It kind of sounded great. I loved it. Brilliant. I got I to go back and check you that. You definitely got to go check that business out. Uh, hey, before we get started, we do like to see what's going on each other's life organs, as always, <laughs> as is tradition. Um, yeah. I learned, <laughs> we were just talking about this in the pre-pre super shows, and it's like, oh, look at you, Linux. You've gotten all grown up in advance because if you just yank a hard drive, I pulled an old SSD out and like shoved it in uh, Jordan's Optiplex box. Didn't want to boot. It took me a minute. It did. I had to think about it. And I was like, what? No, you should just be able to power your way through that Linux kernel. And it was like, no, I've got all responsible and stuff. You need to plug that drive back in, Vin, and tell me it's gone. Damn it. All right. Aww. I figured it out. Fortunately. I'm not quite as dumb as I say on the tin. What's up, Jay, baby? <laughs> well, I'm still I'm still nursing my toe. Nothing's really changed since. Oh Wednesday. right, dude, you fucked yeah. up a wall or something. Wait, no, it just fell off. Right, <laughs> it, it got tired no, it, of you. It, yeah, it it just popped off and ran away. And I'm <laughs> like, no, come back. I'm bleeding. Please send help and nudes. Um, no, so um, it it it's healing up. I've I've trimmed away a bunch of it, and um, I just gotta. There's still some parts that are healing. It's like that weird part, like on the top of your toe, underneath the nail, that's like not used to being exposed to anything. Mm. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> poor, so. poor Jordan. So I've, I've, <laughs> I've been hobbling around. I've, it, 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 it's, it sucks too, because I'm, I was just, I was so excited to get back to going to the gym. I'm like, yeah, 2019, gonna hit that 600 pound deadlift, and now, <laughs> nope, nope, shitty start. Not gonna happen. What's up, Jill? <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to be here on LGC Weekly. Uh, finally. Of course, you know, I co-host LWDW and I help out with the Jordan streams and do the Friday Night Foobar. You've even done the Game of Who, but this is the first time I'm doing LGC Weekly. And it's really, really sur surreal because I started listening to the show just about five years ago. Actually, a little more than that. <laughs> and I just, it, it's, it's, I still can't believe it. <laughs> I never thought I would be on the other side of the mic. <laughs> Sometimes just so you can end up on the wrong side of history, and this might be that in the making. Yeah, yes. is, is, is it as disappointing for us as it was for you? Yeah, right. Oh, no. Hey, no, one wonderful. thing we like to disappoint each and every week, Jordan. <laughs> yeah, the, the the horse seems to be out of it. It's got a bit of that seasonal affective disorder. It's almost the end of the year, though, so maybe it needs to get some new resolutions. It's not Steve! Of the, of the week. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you, you, you almost held up Pedro's part of like butchering that. <laughs> good, good nominate, times, but... nominate. We got to talk about this. Announcing the Steam Award 2018 nominees. Um, is there Linux in them, Jordan? There are. There are actually about six Linux games on this list in total. Um... And I mean that that that's pretty much it. Uh, every, every, everything else is like what you would expect. Uh, Monster Hunter World, uh, PUBG, uh, Hitman Two was a bit surprising. Uh, VR games, Labor of Love, some crap. Winning um, Wol <laughs> Wolfenstein Two. All right, I know this. Is, uh, I burnt a heretic purchase on this game, and it delivered. That was worth it. Mm -hmm. Um, 
we, 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 I think we have maybe one or two of these games that are actually straight up on the whitelist. Dark Souls 3 and uh, Nier Automata. Um, yeah, best developer category. Notice there's there's, uh, there's a couple of conspicuous absences. Mm-hmm. I wonder why. Oh, I wonder why. Oh, man. I, mm-hmm. Hey, no, were you trying to imply that maybe they didn't? How many epic games are on Steam, though? Uh, I, didn't, I couldn't find any. Yeah. Um, well, I'm, I'm sure there's a couple. I didn't really look all that hard. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, you're you you you're not you're not seeing you're not seeing your EAs. You're not seeing your your uh, Activisions on here. This is all best developer on Steam, really. So, uh, but yeah, they uh, Jill has a very very detailed breakdown of what's in what categories. I'm gonna hand it off. To her. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so I am happy that Rocket League is on the list for nomination again. Yay! The game we play in every LGC Weekly after Chosen. And this time for the Most Fun with a Machine Award. Last year it actually won the Suspension of Disbelief Award. And also Counter-Strike Global Global Offensive is one of the nominees for the Better with Friends Award. Last year it won the... I I, I, want to play Counter-Strike Go-Go Offensive, man. You just like... You beat, you beat up a bunch of Goku <laughs> yeah. dancers. Like it, 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 all the levels are like Soul Train or something. I don't know. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cool. So yeah, so uh, CS:GO won the last year. Won the the Haunts My Dreams Award award, and we have had a lot of fun playing this recently, thanks to our CS:GO server set up by Aldius and configured by Aldius and Mister Alert in our chat realm thank you and so tonight we're going to be playing in the after shows and so everyone please join it'll be a lot of fun <laughs> mm. well if you, if, 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 you, if you feel like voting <laughs> on a pointless pr campaign yes. to make a bunch of to, to soothe a bunch of developer <laughs> egos and publisher egos <laughs> you can go ahead and vote <laughs> uh, definitely gonna throw a vote in for like clee or cly Clay. Inter- Clay. Yeah, Clay. Clay. Very good. Everything yeah, they do eventually gets a yeah. Linux title. Yeah. Right. So do they, do they do they partner with Devolver at all? I think so. Is yes. Devolve, Devolver's have. everywhere, man. You're like, what? Okay. <laughs> I know. Published by Devolver. All right. Yes. Hundred yeah. percent. Uh coming yeah. up next. Boom. Oh Pere oh Louvrevance, a developer that yes. is his job at Valve. He develops things. One more and final Proton 3.16 update for 2018. Uh, 3.16 beta dot six. A couple of little things in here. Uh, updated uh, DXVK, a um, couple of configurations, but the big thing is the improvements to F audio. That's kind of cool because that's going to bring uh, yeah. audio support for Insane 2 and Skyrim Job Special uh-huh. Edition. <laughs> they yes. now have working audio. <laughs> And Ridge Racer Unbounded also will connect to a server now, which is kind of neat, I guess. Awesome. If that's your thing. Yeah. If you're filthy, uh, filthy, dual booting, heathen. Yes. Or, 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 you, or you pick some stuff up in a bundle. Um, one, one thing to note, though, is that uh, if your distro doesn't have support for GNU TLS 3.0, you're going to have to you're going to have to build it yourself. Um, they're going to push it out with the runtime sometime later in 2019. So that's that's just the thing. Don't expect it to work out of the box. If you're on like CentOS six, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, this update also uh, enables Dishonored two and Middle Earth Shadow of of War to now be played with Steam Play, which is awesome. And they both were already playable on Lutris, our beloved Lutris. Um, uh, Matthew, uh, otherwise known as Strider's project, awesome project. So a lot of these games already work on his uh, his program. And yeah, as Vin Vin said, the improvements to F-Audio will definitely um, prevent the sound stuttering and seek issues that we've all experienced playing uh, uh, Steam Play and Proton. So that'll be awesome, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Yay! So what do we have? Uh, CSGO. We were talking about that a minute ago, and they've they've been just pooping out updates for that. They're like, well, this thing's kind of jacked up, maybe a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes several times a day. So in this, uh, CSGO has added a beta branch to address recent performance issues with AMD and Intel GPUs. You just have to opt in to AMD Intel beta from CSGO's betas tab and continue playing as normal. And um, uh, Jordan had a really good uh, point. It's unclear if this fix 
impacts Mac and Linux versions, <laughs> considering the drivers and graphics stacks are radically different. Very true, Jordan. Mm -hmm. Well, so, I, 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 and, I mean, yeah. I mean there, 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 there might there might be some wiggle room there because I think Valve uses uh, Toggle to do a uh, D three D nine and to uh, OpenGL bytecode translation. So if there's mm -hmm. stuff, but but then again, you're dealing with like specific driver behavior for necessarily Windows or Linux, um, and even even then like the the mac and linux amd and intel all dri uh, graphics drivers are radically different intel goes out of their way to make sure that um that the intel open source graphics stack mm -hmm. does not conflict or overlap at all with the their proprietary stack uh for mm -hmm. whatever reason um and of course with amd you get whatever whatever mac has deemed an acceptable driver on os 10 and then you have uh, you have Mesa over here in Linux land if you don't want to deal with FGLRX. So, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. And, you know, that's just so very true. I actually uh, checked today about two o'clock and uh, I haven't found this in CSGO's betas tab for Linux. And I'll check it tomorrow. You know, ho hopefully it'll be coming to Linux with so many updates. And, uh, well, you did that mention that awesome. for you, it fixed, um, <laughs> Your mm -hmm. pointer not showing up when you were doing the yes. server browser. Not the same yes. effect on this end. I still have to tab space in order to get that business to work. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that that had been an issue. You you had to keep right clicking in uh, the community server browser for for it to start working and to add you know to either go uh, play multiplayer or add a network. And that well, was I, really I, annoying, I, but it fixed. <laughs> I haven't tested that yet, so I guess we're going to do a trial by fire. After we're going to test show. it live, baby. Yes. That's the right way to do it. <laughs> listen, listen, Linux Gamecast, the L is for live debugging. <laughs> and <Yes>. fire, fire. <laughs> Fantasy Strike. A uh, couple updates. It's on sale, part of the Steam sale, and uh, really like the other good fighting game available for Linux. And they're just yes. rolling out and telling you they got some new mm -hmm. things going on with this uh big thing i noticed i mean this this is for serious fighters too and it looks great i mean when they sent us copies i was like ah, check it out then i checked mm -hmm. it out and i was very pleased with it but the one thing i noticed uh is something you guys still haven't fixed yet man you've hard-coded the buttons <laughs> in the tutorial which makes uh... it very difficult to learn unless you're jordan and have a ps4 controller ah uh, i see <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. Uh, anything else? Yeah, I, pretty cheap. I, right? yeah. I mean, there, there there was there was a big old update on Monday. Um, like Ben showed in the screenshot, they have um they have an improved profile stream scream scream. Yeah, that mm. has your uh that has your game stats. Uh, you can also you can also look at your uh, friends' game stats as well to see if you are better or worse at them at fighting games. Um, there there was a bug they fixed where uh when you're doing an online multiplayer, if player two updates their controls it would override player one's controls with the exact same thing so that, that that's uh it's good that they finally fixed that and uh two characters midori and Argar <laughs> uh have some have some uh game balance updates I, I know midori was really overpowered overpowered i was seeing him in i was seeing people play with him in um through some let's players and he just turns into a dragon mm -hmm. and then you can't you can't win you lose so they're 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 hitting them with the nerf bat as best that they can. Ah, very cool. Well, it looks like a, a, a their next update. Um, they're going to feature facial animations for characters hit by cinematic moves, and um, this will add more fully, of course, to uh, the render and polish and look of the game. So that will be really good, more realistic physics <laughs> with animation. <laughs> so that'll be cool too. I think it's cool. Currently 40% off, eleven ninety nine. Uh, do keep in mind, I mean, it is updated. They're actively working on it, but I always say when we talk about this game, the updates come in big honking chunks months apart. Mm -hmm. So you can be like, yeah. is this game dead? Then boom, uh, they'll, they'll come out with boom. another thing. That's definitely mm -hmm. a thing. And it is made to simplify fighting. I'm not going to say, I mean, you can definitely have uh, tournaments and competitive stuff. Uh, People are doing that, yeah. absolutely. But if you're like old, like I am, and you're like, oh, I can get up to about Mortal Kombat 3, then I got to tap out. You can handle this. You can handle this. Um, I'm not clever enough to play Scroll Girls. I, I look at how people play them. <laughs> I, I'll never be able to pull that off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the, 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 those those anime combo heavy fighters are pretty rough. Yeah, what, what's cool about Fantasy Strike is like, 
they they got rid of all the combos, so you actually have to focus on you know playing fighting games and predicting your opponents. And like again, the the block mechanism is really cool because you gotta you gotta hands off if you're gonna block anything. Mm-hmm. Anyways, right. uh, up next we got Serious Sam Super Saiyan Blue Edition. Super uh, Saiyan Blue, awesome. Super Yay. Saiyan Baru, well, actually, no, Ultimate this- Instinct. Yeah, <laughs> Ultra Instinct. No, this is this is Seven Smoke Tennis Projects 2018 Blue Edition. And it's a collection of custom maps for a Serious Sam uh, fusion. And it, it, in effect, creates its own little mini campaign. They have a bunch of new enemy types, including clear with with shields. No, get, no, fuck no. No, 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 no. Um, and uh, they added some custom boss fights. Um, this has some dependencies, though. And Ven and I both ran into some problems getting mm. it working. Oh, man, that, 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 that's some Cyrillic right there. Um, the, uh, and we, we, were, we were talking about this in the uh, pre-pre-super shows and where the uh, when when you subscribe to this on Steam Workshop, it says, "Hey, you need to subscribe to these three other things." And so I did. Mm-hmm. I, I wish it would do that automatically. That'd be because, nice, you know. We, yeah. Um, <laughs> but even even then, there's apparently some resources missing that you got to go track down. If you uh, if you pull up the console in Serious Sam after the game, the levels fail to load. It tells you what's missing, but I haven't had time to go track all those things down. And that's probably going to take a good long while. I tracked them down. Mm-hmm. Um, Initially, I, I just added this and I'm like, okay. Then I did the mod thing with Serious Sam Fusion. And I was like, let's load. And it mm-hmm. told me to go fuck yourself. I was like, okay, fine. Then I did some reading, you know, got on the Googs, did some searching, some learning. Let's go hit tilde to bring up the console, give you your error message. And it was like just mm-hmm. random assets. And it was like, oh, I need to install these three things. And this thing requires went down the dependency chain uh. like in the old days of tracking down like rpms and shit um then it was something else that i, I finally just tapped out so I, I here's what i thought it was jordan was like case sensitive file type or something like that maybe that's maybe. usually like wait is that but i i don't know i wanted to give it a look i wanted to play it but it was one of those things where i definitely didn't want to play it that bad apparently yeah, but it's it's unfortunate too because I'd like another serious Sam campaign. That'd be fun to stream. Yeah, the, oh, and I mean, like yeah. they, these guys apparently put a lot of work in there. It's even voice acted for God's sake. So yeah, oh. yeah. So uh, if, if if you if you want to help them sort this out, or if you can get it working and post a guide, we'll uh, we'll promote that and then yeah, maybe, definitely. Maybe we'll and a little we'll, bit of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll play it here on LGC because Serious Sam is one of our favorite games, and so, you know. It, just awesome okay. so 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 what's up in ven's <laughs> house in in venland um oh mtv cribs yes <laughs> well dead in vinland is a survival management game mixed with rpg and adventure elements about a viking family trying their best to survive on a mysterious island and this the survival game has beautiful artwork a nice Celtic soundtrack, positive reviews, and makes with the working on Linux. Yay! At least as a public beta now that you can test, which is really, really awesome. Um, I, I've actually I've had this on my wish list for a while. I've been waiting for it to come out for Linux because when they launched it, they said they would put it on Linux. And so, yeah, now you can go beta test it. Mom, awesome. Dad, I found things. <laughs> Eric, heart, yes. Mom, trees. <laughs> yes. Tree, tree, trees indeed. Um, yeah, so... Uh, th- this is the second game that uh, that these guys put out. They yeah. made another game that's this is effectively a reskin of called Dead in Bermuda. That one doesn't Dead have Bermuda. all the next support. Yeah, so th- this uh, this is available via the beta, and uh, it kind of reminded me of that other zombie RPG we played that was like done in Unity and was really crappy when it comes to. Um, oh, that one. Yeah, I wonder yeah it, 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 oh, it's it, it's a, it's a mix between that and like Banner Saga. Um, oh, cool. Okay, well. Banner Saga is, was awesome. <laughs> sure, let's go with that. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you you guys didn't like it, I know, but I actually. Liked I, I, it. <laughs> I, I I I mean I I haven't said that and played it, but like I've I've seen how this goes. Where like it's one of those games where like you make an, a seemingly innocuous choice very early on that just fucks you over for the rest of the game. I thought oh, you liked true. games yeah. that did shit like that. I do, <laughs> which is which is why I've been hesitant to play that because. Any, anyways, and now, I mean, now, it, it, now you have me genuinely curious because w- w- when we bring up games from the ancient past like that, I was like, I, I, I need to go creep on that game and see if they've done anything with it. Do you ever do that? 
Sometimes. <laughs> like really old games, that you, like you'll browse through the library and you're like, oh, Kings of Kung Fu. Oh, I wonder yeah, if I haven't they played even, that. Yeah, oh, they, oh, 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 yeah. oh that, like, like, like that, no. It's more like, <laughs> hey, I remember hearing about this game. Was this any good? No, it's like a dollar. I do it, listen, yeah. for all the wrong reasons because I was like, wasn't I right? Because I, I knew I at some point had said publicly, I was like, they're going to abandon this and drop it. Yep, they did. All right. But sometimes yeah. you get pleasantly <laughs> surprised and it's like, oh, they're still doing it. Good. That makes oh, me yeah. happy. That, that, mm -hmm. That's that's the thing with the, with the, with the news cycle. People tend to sort of ignore games after like the first three weeks of release. We're guilty of it. I mean, there's, oh, I, I, absolutely, yeah, hundred yeah. yeah. percent. Yeah, and and mm -hmm. like I, I I was I was reading a Reddit thread the other day. It's like, oh yeah, Sea of Thieves. Remember that? That still has like a crazy active community, and they're still actively developing it. I'm like, cool. People 100%. seem to really enjoy mm -hmm. it. Hey, something anyways, that is in perpetual development is Black Mesa. And <laughs> yes. There's a public beta <laughs> update for Linux. Um, the message drivers open GL 3.0 showing the black screen. Hopefully that's been nerfed and, uh, black props and NPCs on closed driver. That's the one that works for NVIDIA and inadequate memory usage on big maps and or long playthroughs. All right. For me, uh, the biggest mm. update I noticed and you're like, what is black Mesa? You should know it's the fan remake with Valve's blessing of the original half-life. And Yay. it's also the game that mm -hmm. is like, hey, you know, it took us nine years to get here, and we're going to see if we can get another nine years out of this last map called Zen. Mm -hmm. um, that's kind of how that's been rolling. But the biggest update for me that made me happy was it launches now. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> good Very on, important. I, I'm not <laughs> shitting you, Jill. It was like four or five months. It just didn't launch. I was like, oh, okay. wow. Yeah. No, I never had that pro uh, had a problem playing and launching Black Mesa on Linux since it's released in 2015, and I played it on several computers. Um, the only uh, the biggest uh, problems I noticed was the performance issue issues such as low frame rates and textures not rendering properly. So that was always a, a little little <laughs> pain, a bit of a pain and janky. Well, I guess I, but... I should point out that. <laughs> Performance is better. I remember when it first launched, it it, it was mm. then, um It was chuggy. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's yeah. I, I'm getting over sixty at thirty eight forty by twenty one sixty now. So that, that's, oh, that's very good. good. Sure, mm -hmm. let's be honest with each other. Indeed. Yeah. All right. All right let's, well, let's well, you, 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 <laughs> necromancer. If you want to, you can. We can bring your friends to life. But necromancer friends. revolution. <laughs> uns, yeah. uns, uns. Yes. Yeah, um, <laughs> so this is this is a skeletal dance party. Uh, it is an odd game. Let's say it's and sort of fuck it's like that a Christmas tree in particular. Yes. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> well, just fuck Christmas trees in general. I mean, with their consent, of course. But um, yeah, no, they have uh, the one dot two dot o winter patch. Um, this is actually released. I thought it was an early access, but it is not. Um, and in effect, it's sort of like, uh, it's sort of a bit like Overlord where you, um, where you sort of run around and you collect your little collection of <laughs> skeletons and undead and you lead them through a dungeon and they dance and murder and murder dance. It's, it's like, the, it's la ta Los Tangos de la Muerte. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> the beans they, are all um, moldy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They, they, <laughs> yeah. They, they, they added they added Christmas generations. They added they fixed up the level generator. There's more bone jokes, and they yeah. have a little bit of an art contest. But um, that's that's going until the end of the year. It's got to be safe for work though, so uh, no boner jokes, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, I mean, it, it it's cute. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's like a surreal Day of the Dead, and it's 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 very unique. Um, but yet it has a very fun, fun playing. It's fun to play. And um, their holiday theming is, is uh, they did it, did it better than a lot of other games do. <laughs> so. Well, hey, man, it's Christmas time. Me. We got to put fucking Christmas trees yeah. all over shit. Uh, yes. <laughs> I, I launched it once or twice. Uh, thank you. They, they sent us uh, copies to our Steam curator a while back. Um, the <laughs> two times I've launched it is probably on my end. I was like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> it's the, I don't. I, yes. I don't. I don't. I don't. I gotta, I gotta pull this up and I gotta pull up the next story in Steam now because I can't. I don't want to re log into the. Uh, oh. oh. All right. Yeah. So up next we got Hunt and Snare. 
Um, yes. Look at that. Uh, so <laughs> this is this is a, a sexy furry hunting MMO, and Fo Mr. Foxdog, who is not a furry, was very quick to correct yeah. me that this is not an MMO per se, but more of a That's collaborative crazy. open world thing. Yeah. I do like the sensor onesies that everyone has in the game in the uh, in the Steam. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the Steam uh, Game carousel, whatever it thing, is. screenshots, yeah, yeah, screenshots. <laughs> but like that—that's that, the thing. I'm, I'm a hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent not the target market for any of this. <laughs> However, <laughs> if you are in the target market, send us some hate mail with your thoughts. I don't, I don't know, I don't know if this is right. good or not. Hundred percent, like legitimately, I was looking at this and listen. I don't judge anything at all. This. Hey, it looks competently well done. I was like, oh, this is just like a furry shagging simulator. And I was like, all right, yeah. again, it doesn't bother me. Then then I was like, wait, what? All right, so you're yeah. hunting? For, make up your mind game. Yes. Um, <laughs> Listen, there's there's some weird BDSM power game <laughs> thing going on here. Where it's like, I could shoot you, but I won't. There are layers <laughs> here, man. I don't get, but hey, more power to it. It's not hurting anyone, so I don't know. I, 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 I mean, yeah. the, the the price tag might. It's about <sighs> thirty. It's about thirty bucks. So yeah, but th this is definitely one of those things where you know your audience. You you can name, but it's got mixed reviews. Okay, we got to check out the reviews, don't we? <laughs> yeah, it was mixed. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I have to. I'm on the cash <laughs> thing too. I can't get the reviews. Yeah. No, no, no. So, 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 he, so here's. I'm, I'm, I'm looking through them right now, and a lot of yeah. it is just like this game is incomplete. There's stuff yeah. that we want this game to do that it does not do. <laughs> so I'm glad to see that the people who are complaining about this game are actually actually people who care about the game, and not just be people going like, "You furries, lol." I'm gonna troll them because <laughs> this is fucking twenty. This is 2008, and it's fun to troll on fucking. Now, in fairness, it is an early access. It it is an early <laughs> access. Is it multiplayer? Um, Yes. Oh yes, shit. Yes, it is. Maybe we need to call yeah. some motherfuckers up. Like, like, yeah. Like, 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 like I said, though, it's um, <laughs> it's it's all it's all it's all about that kinky furry sex. So yes, we might not be able. <laughs> we, we we may need to go to Pornhub to stream it. Is all I'm saying. I don't, I don't know. Yes. Does our RTMP bridge support Pornhub? Probably. This is something. This is something to investigate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Until then, uh, let's get this last uh, bit of steam yes. news out of the way. Oh, this is 18D chess. Yes, this is a uh, play chess on a 3D sphere with all your friends. It has online multiplayer support and uh, Mr. Spock would approve. This is 3D chess times six. So he would definitely approve this one. It it looks like it's actually really, really hard. I, I haven't I haven't played it yet because I don't play chess, but. Uh yeah, this looks like look, looks like a fun one though. <laughs> it it's 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 free to play. So yeah, I, I, I don't know, that was that was the first thing that popped in my head when I saw this. I'm like, they better not be fucking charging for this. Okay, they're not. Yeah, um, yeah. But they, but they they added a couple additional chess pieces because you know that 200 year old or the thousand year old game need yes. needs some improvements. Ooh. Um, and you and you Ooh. you are you are the one who are who will fix chess, dude. Um, hard mode. I like this. It requires the elusive two hundred meg dim. Oof. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> but 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 it but apparent yes. according to this, it will run on BOS on Haiku. Yes. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that yeah. <laughs> so it 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 it's definitely a thing. I don't I don't I don't know. I'm not I'm not very good at chess just because I don't practice, and also I yeah. suck at chess. Yeah. Um, this would this 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 would be like a fun cripple fight for like me and Mirror or something to do on a stream. Yeah. <laughs> we, we no, I definitely it. think it'd be fun to play. <laughs> Try it. It's like I've never played chess on a ball before. That's because it doesn't yeah. make any sense. Brilliant. Let's do it. Yeah. Well, I have tried three D chess, and because I don't know chess original too much, it was a little hard to play. But I I did get through a game. See, I tried playing chess once, but apparently bringing out like a box of Warhammer figures and putting them on the board and using Warhammer rules doesn't sit well yes. with people who play chess. Yes, that's a, that. That's a thing. I memorized. Start, I went through that phase. slapping down magic cards. <laughs> where I memorized a couple of hundred launch patterns, just starting grid stuff, and that stuff's gone. Mm -hmm. It's like, let's play checkers. Anyway, mm -hmm. that's going to do it. All right. Yeah. Wow. Wow, I, I just got, I stole the carousel up for Hunt and Snare, and there was just a big old fucking mouth of the tongue sticking out. That was <laughs> not what I was expecting to end this segment. Coming up next, we talk about the other gaping maw on the internet, the Discord store. 
Welcome back to the news. Oh, that gave me cancer. I'm never doing that again. Um, but before <laughs> we get to it, we want to thank all the beautiful party people making this show possible, keeping it ad free. And unfortunately, I'll never get to sell you a mattress. Tell them about it, Jordan. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. you've just sold me a mattress. But if you want to buy us a mattress, <laughs> you, can, you can do that by no. going over to our contact page. Never. <laughs> <laughs> buy, buy us like six mattresses we'll make a fort um no you head, head on over to linuxgamecast.com click the uh contact button we got all sorts of other buttons for you to click including <laughs> like a support amazon button well, yeah there I, I said the support button already you, you said the contact button i did it <laughs> yep well then the click the contact button send no. us some hate mail about Never. why it's not linking to the support page and then go to the support <laughs> there page we go and then Get give us some money him. we got we got we got amazon affiliate links we got new egg affiliate links we got a humble partner link if you want to feel good about donating money yeah. to charity and us i mean we're charity right we we, yes. need, we need all your pity um we also we also got uh we also got a big old uh mm. hunk of you Giving us money every week at patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast. There are a whole lot of you. We're, get, we're getting, uh, we, we, we dropped a little bit. 113 of you giving us 264 bucks an episode. If we don't put one out, you don't have to pay us. That's how it works. Hey, man. Value we dance for our food. Value. But hey, we yes. can do a bunch of awesome bullshit every week, uh, even Tuesdays and Thursdays. Yeah. Me and you filled in for Pedro, who, you know, he, he's a Spaniard and he disappears <laughs> on the holidays. But uh, what, yeah, as, as Spaniards do. Hey. Uh, and we get to roll in on Friday nights too. Uh, Jill, we, we get to hang out with yeah. a little Jackbox and yeah, it was... all that fun stuff. It is kind of mm -hmm. fun. It's kind of real. And, uh, you do get access to our pre free super shows and that's our little production meeting. And, uh, we do have live streams, uh, during the show audio only. If you want that in discord, mm -hmm. come put that in your face, Oregon. It's kind of brilliant. Um, but like, like I said, if you want to buy us a mattress, no, you gotta do this. Stop. Would, would you get off wait, this wait, mattress wait. thing, man? Yeah, Never. No, I'm trying to go to sleep, then I need to get on the mattress to sleep. Um, no, but you, you can you can head on over to our Amazon wish list. No. Become, we can become yeah. one of uh, Frank's fuck buddies. Get on our fuck wall. <laughs> Frank's fuck that, buddies. You, yeah. Yeah, the, they're, 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 they're fuck buddies. Um, did, did you hear Aww. that? Uh, <laughs> yes. We, 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 oh. We, um yeah so um you can you can donate us some hardware uh you'll get your name up on there we got a bunch of people we gotta thank this week aldius yes, is a brand new executive yeah, producer executive also producer. doing a wonderful job of running our counter-strike go server for the odd time we play Yay. uh mila <laughs> linux gamer who's been following us for a while finally kicked us some cash on the patreon so thanks a lot for that yes and, thank you mila and mm -hmm. becoming frank's fuck buddies right frank is uh we, we, we got two new hardware donations. Uh, we got Artharon, who gave us a salt state drive in the clever disguise of a yeah. <laughs> HDMI capture card. Um, yes. And then we got uh, and then we got another one terabyte drive from Aldius <laughs> as well. He's really making it rain this week, man. Awesome, yeah, Aldius. Yeah, we, 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 we got to give you some props for that. And uh, we, got a, we got a mystery HDMI cable. They come with yes. maybe come with notes. It's kind of terrifying. Um, that that was not a bad attempt at reading what I'd read. <laughs> so credit to that. Arthur and hooked us up with the capture card. That's brilliant. That is yes. kind of our test thing. We now have three, and I was kind of curious. That works. And Aldi is definitely with a one terabyte of Terra. They sent in notes. I got notes. Uh, the oh, cool. Mysterious. <laughs> uh, well. HDMI <laughs> capture card. I'm I'm trying to read here. Uh, Se seven days. <laughs> I can't read, man. Still love you guys. Still listening. Still gaming on Linux. That's awesome. That's the important thing. Here's a new toy. Merry Krampus to you all. Thanks for the entertainment and laughs. I think that came with the HDMI cable. All right. Oh, very cool. And make sure to go get some merch. Speaking of Frank, I've got Frank on my shirt. I, I'm a Francophile. <laughs> and here's my Hail Santa mug. So you can't, I'm, you can't, you can't get those anymore. I'll, the, the... Yeah, Man, Teespring <laughs> fucked up the mugs. Yeah, yeah, they we did. Yeah, this one's an, yeah, this one's another one that's messed up. But I have uh, so. three, three of the four designs, and and uh... <laughs> <laughs> almost a complete collection, Jill. <laughs> right. Yes, <laughs> collect, collect the failure. And I have three shirts, and in fact, I'm going to be putting on another one later. <laughs> this is uh, this is this is our new business strategy, Jordan. We, we know yeah. that Jill's is going to buy anything that we put out, so let's <laughs> get, let's get another round of jacked up mugs and be like, Jill, just, just for like one day only. Oh no um, no, we're, 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 yeah. we're just going to send her a box full of busted up porcelain and be like, yeah, they're 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 great. 
Uh, man, uh, definitely. Uh, uh, one of the things I do want to mention, in case you didn't, because I pulled those mugs like two weeks ago. If you ended up, because I knew Strider's like, oh, I got one. And I'm like, how did you get one? Um, yeah. Man, if you got a problem, like if you don't want to keep the collector's item, send it back. Or if you just want to keep the collector's <laughs> item, hit me up. I'll make sure you get a refund and you get to keep the mug and all that fun stuff. Because I don't want anybody stuck with shit yeah. that they don't want because they jacked those things up. Yeah, Maybe definitely. Maybe we'll find somebody who... Uh, w- Pro tip, don't use a company yeah. that does uh, teas for cups. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, 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 we got to go with like mug pulley or something. Mug, no, mattress spring. LGC branded mattresses, man. Scratch and sniff. There yeah. we go. <laughs> they, then I'll sell it. They, they, they come with complimentary bed bugs. For sure. Mm, yeah. All right. Tasty. All right. All right. Uh, so we, 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 got, we got some stuff we actually got to talk about related to <laughs> Linux gaming. Well, sort of, kind of, not really. So we've been talking about um, the plethora of stores that have been springing up in the wake of pe- developers being really, really cheesed about Steam for not really upholding their end of the bargain. So Discord has said uh, that um, Discord uh, the Discord store will be going open in 2019. Everyone's getting the 90-10 revenue split deal that they've got. So, Yay. Here's, so here, 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 here's, here's my thought. Originally, when this was proposed, um, Discord was all like, "Listen, we're gonna we're gonna be using we're gonna be offering like a set of curated games. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna be expanding that scope as time goes on. But we wanted we wanted to give you a list of quality games. That has gone completely out the window now. Now that now that Epic is offering this uh, with the, their eighty twenty split, their Discord's like, nah, man, we we want a piece of that. So I'm curious though what the actual barrier for entry is going to be because as we've seen with the Play Store, as we've seen with the iPhone Store, and well, less so with the iPhone Store mm. because there's a draconian claw sh- shaking and pruning all the crap on there, but definitely on the Steam Store, a hundred bucks isn't that big of an asking price to get your shit up on the store. So yeah. hopefully, hopefully Discord will have something to uh, to deter the legions of garbage that have been flooding the Steam Store as of late. Uh, now that the flood games are uh, flood games, flood, flood games. gates are now flood gates are <laughs> flood now <games>. open. <laughs> Jill, yeah, this, this is really awesome because uh, you know, uh, well, uh, as we found out uh, from from reading that post, um, all their games will be electron wrapped, which is uh, really awesome. That's why they're they're um, they'll be cross platform with all the major OSs, including our beloved Linux. Well, 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 so, the, the, st- the store will be the, the store, store not the games. The, 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 yeah. The game. Well, um, there, there's, there's been, there's been no word on how they're actually going to be handling um, Linux versus Mac versus uh, windows games. Uh, that, that, that oh, yet to okay. be announced, but, was... but, what, what, but yeah, what, what they were saying was that like, because, because everything is a Chromium app anyways, there's not yeah. really a need to port things from platform A to p- platform B. Oh, okay. Through Discord. Oh, okay. I misread that then. This is going to be the delivery system. Um, <laughs> with that, because we were talking about this last week, and this is just kind of confirm it, lay it in there. Discord doing the 90-10 was kind of like uh, us too. Hey, because all the attention went from Discord over to Epic. But neither of these is really mm-hmm. doing, because one of the things I was reading earlier this week, uh, Subnautica people were picking that up on Epic store and going to steam for support because you know what? They don't have forums or anything like that to discuss problems with the games. And this is a, it, something that discord is going to have to address too. This is as crappy and jank together as it is. Steam actually has that repository of knowledge. So, so, so put, yeah. put, put this in your head grinder and uh, mm. snort it. Yes. Um, so lots of, lots of games already have dedicated discord channels and it would make sense that Discord would be like, "Hey, if you're gonna if you're gonna be on our store, you're gonna have a dedicated channel for customer support. That might be a decent way of you know leveraging what they have in order to provide support for their." So uh, in, instead customer. of having a post and sticking it and something to search, you hire thirty people to do support. Yeah, why not? I don't. I, I don't. I don't know. It's a thought. What? Listen, listen. If Discord wants me to give them good ideas, they better freaking pay me. Right. I don't know. Let's talk about some game highlights. Oh, this is this is really exciting. Um, uh, the Game Off Game Jam just wrapped up with over 300 plus games submitted, making it the lar- the largest itch.io game jam ever. Yay! And here are some of the winners. 
Uh, the overall winner was Singularity, and um, it runs actually beautifully on Linux. And this is just, this is really awesome. Uh, support for Linux games on itch.io game jams has always been good. And Game Off 2018 is no exception. Um, a lot of the games are browser playable, so it plays on, it, on any browser and any OS. Uh, but 50 of them do have Linux ports, which is always really nice to see. Le Le and, Letris? Letris. Yeah. I think, I think Strider's yeah, going to sue somebody. Yes, I hey, know. Man, that Oreo's got to put in the pick too, man. Yeah, Uro. yeah. So um, um, he, this article has a list of winners, and it also has uh, picks, uh, staff picks, and I, um, months. Yeah. <laughs> I I, I, I mean, ahead, it's they, they they don't have a Linux version, but the one that the one that really caught my eye was this like Shark Man fighting game. <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> that, yeah. That the the source is available, so if you want to try and so, and it's done in Unity, so you could potentially get this running under Linux. But goddamn, it's a turn-based shark fighting game, and I, I just can't stop watching this GIF. I can't. Yes. It's, it's hypnotizing <laughs> over and over again. <laughs> well, one of my favorites is called Monster Pong. It's it's one of the staff picks on the, in the article, and it's it's a hybrid of uh, Breakout and Pong, and uh, Pong mashup with monsters. So it's it, it was really 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 fun to game uh, to play and very very challenging. And also there was a game I found uh, deep in the list uh, called Parallel, which was two games in one. It's both a driving simulator and an asteroids-like game, so it's split screen, and it was really ingenious because you can play both together with the I controls. I thought they were going to be dropping some frog <laughs> fractions on us. Man. Yeah. Uh, one thing we probably want to mention: a lot of these games are, if you're looking for pre-compiled binaries, Windows only. Yeah. I'm yeah. Keep that in mind. That's yeah. the thing. All right, uh, <laughs> we had to talk about this months ago. It's like, hey, man, I'm going to redo. Um, SimCity 2K, Maxis game. And I'm just going to put all the assets uh, that are, you know, not mine, along with uh, my source code here. And like, what do you mean? EA's being mean to me. What? So he had to learn a lesson about that. But development just after that. But it's back alive. Yeah. It's a thing. And work yeah. is continued. I mean, it's an open source remake of SimCity 2000. And I'm, I don't see anybody going after this. Uh do we really, do you remember Joe and Jordan's too yes. young for this? Like uh -huh. seeing the, I remember playing this on oh, a yeah. Mac, power yes. PC Mac and going, oh my God, this is so amazing compared oh, to yeah. like, the dog shit version, like on the SNES. Yeah. Oh well, yeah. So, uh, you know, I, I played it in DOS back in the day. <laughs> And um, what's sad is Electronic Arts is at, at it again. The developer got a takedown notice and had to remove the game assets, including um, with this repository. And well, I would like this project to come to fruition. Well, he's came back many with hours, it. I mean, it turns out know? like if you're stealing people's uh, work and putting it up for free, that's probably not a good thing to do. Mm. Strider, right? Um, yeah. no, but so, 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 so the, 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 the thing was that like there, there are a bunch of tile sets and bitmaps that he needed to include. That was game assets. And we all know, yeah, because we've been talking about Open Morrowind and um, Daggerfall Unity and all these other games that actually require you to own the original game in order to play it because mm -hmm. they're just, you're just swapping out the engine and the game assets and game files are the same. Yeah. Um, the dev has mentioned that uh, he has a tile set extractor for Windows. Uh, so if you want to, if you want to get the actual uh, game resources, you're going to need to have something for Windows right now. Uh, mm -hmm. They uh, they have not mentioned any plans to get this tile set extractor ported to Linux, which would be problematic because the reason one would include a bunch of copyrighted material from ripped from a game would be because it's not necessarily easy to get. But now we're mm -hmm. sort of back to square one. Um, Oh. I'm playing with gifts and Discord. As you like. <laughs> yeah. So uh, for you a second know, there, I, I thought that was yeah. I thought that was like Shanks from Stargate. I'm like, when was what, what episode was this? Mm. Um, yeah. All right, let's throw it down. What's Open Fodder? Never heard of it. Oh, oh, okay. So Open Fodder is an open source port of the original Cannon Fodder game, and I remember seeing this on an Amiga Mini Moon. Played with it a little bit, but not too much, and. Um, there are ports for OpenBSD and RetroPie available, but it can be compiled with any um, Linux distribution. 
And it is packaged with four demos, but the full game requires the original retail release, like we were just saying in our in um, with the last SimCity 2000. And but the original actually Cannon Fodder and Cannon Fodder 2 games can be purchased at GOG and are now priced at only a dollar forty nine for for GOG's winter sale. So that's pretty cool. This one, yeah, this is this is one I want to play. <laughs> so this will be cool. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, I mean, I mean, it looked it looked kind of interesting. I never played the original. This was never something that came across my mm-hmm. face. I don't know. Um, but it's it, sort of like a proto Dawn of War two, where your goal yeah. is to like lead your squad of dudes. Uh, they'll auto fire on stuff, um, but you gotta you gotta direct them to cover. You gotta you gotta manage their health, and you gotta get them to the other side of the map. So I mean, it's it's pretty neat. Uh, how much can you grab uh, the original for? A buck or two. A dollar. A buck. A buck fifty. Yeah. So for for yeah. that, that's not too bad. If you want to have a low resource game, you can play on. Well, on you could remember this, this yeah. is an Amiga game, therefore it's flawless. You can find no yes. error in it, and it, it, it is just the pinnacle of gaming, and nothing yeah. ever better was made. Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, to me. <laughs> up next. Spe- speaking speaking of speaking of re-releases, uh, Ivan 055, not Interstellar 555, has nothing to do with Daft Punk whatsoever. What is it? It's a it's a roguelike. Um, mm-hmm. It's a graphical roguelike. Um, a mm-hmm. little a little more slightly more advanced than that hack, but not by much. Um, the inventory system and whatnot kind of reminds me of early Ultima games. Uh, there's the same sort of um, equipment slot system. Uh, I built it and ran it, and it run it builds and runs fine. However, um, a you cannot run it. Um, you you need to. Sp- one one annoying thing is Ben. You and I both do this, where like when you compile something, you just kind of leave it in the folder where you compiled it. Fuck yeah. This yeah. thing uh, links <laughs> against absolute path names, and so you have to you have to or sorry yeah does something or other with path names. So you have to actually do a make install in order for it to run. Otherwise, it will just crash. Um, oh. What the fuck is this, then? What are you, what, am, what, what I, are I you showing the me? official fucking gallery. Fuck off. Oh, just... oh, oh, okay. oh <laughs> fair, you know what? Fair, fair. Um, yeah, so I, I, I start playing the game. Uh, it uses the numpad or the arrow keys to move around. But I was stuck on an island, <laughs> and I couldn't figure out how to escape. So that's, that's the story of my life. Please send help oh. or needs. What, what, what's wrong with this? Is it... all right. I mean, people, 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 are, people are just making art about their games. That, that's that's what I, that's the thing I really like about these sorts of roguelikes is like the emergent yeah. narrative where there's no real story except the one that you make for yourself, and people make comics yeah. and art about that. That's cool. I like that. That that's engagement in the game. Right. Yeah, definitely. Good of them. <laughs> Price to sell. Do we need any assets or anything like that? Uh, no, everything uh, everything works out of the box aside from being trapped in a little tiny island. But maybe I fucked up on that. Who knows? Hmm. <laughs> cool. Neat. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> Coming up next, run, fat boy, run, dodge those saw blades and bubble gum and <laughs> missiles. We'll we'll explain why in a little bit. Yes. Check the- It's 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 been a long, long while since we've had to do a third take on the chair acquisition. So here it is. This is where we take a game. We tell you if it works, how it performs, how the graphics look, and how it controls. We give it a score of one to four chairs based on that. Then we tell you how we feel about the game. We give it an arbitrary score on based on one to four chairs on that. This week we are looking at Panarium. Panarium I was kept. I kept wanting to say Panarium or whatever. The, 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 it is. It is not oxen free. Yes, it is. It is. An entirely Blind different game. This is clearly oxen free. Um, it's it's developed by a self-made miracle. It's done on a custom engine. So the game itself is only about 70 megs in size. You can pick it up for about 10 bucks. And what is it? Panarium is a frantic 2D arcade game where you take on the role of Willy and you're trapped in a sinister circus show. Um Yeah, the, uh these guys these guys sent us some keys, right? Or do we mm-hmm. buy these? Wait, no. Yeah. Well, we bought this. Yeah, uh we we bought this one. All right, yeah. So um no no thanks to you, self-made miracle. We'll give you our honest opinion of the game because you didn't pay us any money or games. So then, how how to run on Ubuntu? Um, man, I was just doing a bunch of things. I we were just playing uh, the game of what else did I fucking forget to? Oh, that. Um, so over here on Ubuntu 1804 LTS kind of business uh, Ryzen 1700 980 NVMe drives 4K display and all that fun jazz. Does it launch? Does it run? It better and it does. 
Performance is hipster pixel, man. It better run. It does 60, all the things. No issues on that. Uh, one thing I noticed, you don't really have much in the way of resolution settings. You can kind of go full screen or you can go a little fucking window. But you can stretch it out. That's the thing. As I said, graphics-wise, it's hipster. It's pixel. It's goodness. It's well done. You know, it's not lazy. And controller, didn't have a problem with it. It ran with the Xclaim controller and the Steam controller. So I'll, I'll give it a solid, clean bill of health, J-Baby. Well, that's, that's what you get for running Ubuntu here in real Linux land on Fedora. Shit don't work. So I did a little bit of digging and their launch script actually attempts to detect a bunch of libraries you have installed and then copy them to the game folder. These libraries look for the Ubuntu path. And if they miss, if they're missing, it tries to apt install them and asks you for a pseudo password if you just run the script from the directory. Um, of course, I don't trust games that ask for my root password. So I figured out what I needed to install. Um, Despite the fact that this is a uh, this is a 64-bit game, uh, you actually need to install the 32-bit library if you want to use the startup script because um, it actually looks for the libraries in the incorrect place on Fedora. So uh, I put the command to link the appropriate library in the show notes, and then everything ran after that. So um, that, 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 that was a little more effort than I'm willing to put in for most games. Uh, performance at 1080p. Well, I mean, you don't really have a graphics options, so it holds 60 because it's... A, it, look, look at it. It's not really bringing my 980 or 1080 Ti to its knees. Uh, graphics. I mean, they're, they're pixely. They're colorful. And I can tell one thing apart from another. So that's got that going for it. And you got, you got three options for the controls. You move, you jump, or you bail the level. That's it. So aside from uh, aside from some startup issues, uh, it runs fine. I'll give it three chairs on Fedora. What about the other Ubuntu? Oh, <clears throat> yes. So on Ubuntu 16.04, it launched very quickly and it played beautifully on 1920 by 1080 at 60 frames per second and 1920 by 1200 at 60 frames per second. Um, uh, in, and the windowed mode scaled easily and full screen works great. So it ran beautifully. And it actually played beautifully on my generic SNES controller and, and uh, keyboard is also very responsive. So I tried both. And um, I'm using a, a GTX 1060 on this machine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yay. Cool. And I gave, gave it four chairs. <laughs> awesome. For, uh, All right. With so, the working. <laughs> so, so, th so there you go. If you're, if you're using a distribution that puts their 32-bit uh, libraries in... <laughs> uh, user lib, then uh, you're going to have some work cut out for you in order to get this game running. But that brings <laughs> us to the fun segment. Then, did you have fun playing? Ladies Pinarium. and gentlemen, boys <laughs> and girls, if you like games, uh, this might be for you if you like frustration. I first thought, hey, do I like <laughs> Super Meat Boy? I kind of did, because you look at it, that's what it is, man. This is Super Meat Boy with a bunch of extra steps thrown in. You run, you jump, you explode into pixelated gibbs. And you also rage quit. That is another fun, fun feature of <laughs> Benarium. Um, I kind of felt myself doing that more often than not, <laughs> but not the throw a controller across the room rage quit. It's the, all right, let's set the expensive thing down. I'm telling you, man, if you really, really want to curb your enthusiasm, get a tempered glass desk. That will tap the brakes on a lot of shit. Like, you know, <laughs> I just need to get the fuck out of this room. Um, <laughs> usually the rage would come. You would see me if you're watching the video right now after dying, I don't know, the 15th, 16th time in a row, but it does that good thing that made me want to come back. So it had that going for it, 100%. Kind of like Super Meat Boy. I, I felt the exact same way. Mm -hmm. It's like, I get it. This is well made. There's a challenge here and I suck. Completely understood. <laughs> 100%. But, um, uh, it's not something I'd ever put like a lot of time into kind of like super meat boy take another shot uh you're already playing that game but i think this would be an excellent game to keep around because it does have multiplayer but mm -hmm. local only it'd be something to break out at parties but only after you've hidden anything that rhymes with like heavy or sharp because you don't really know how people are going to take something like this i enjoyed it uh it was definitely priced to sell and get it for a couple of bucks and you, you can have some fun with it so uh mm -hmm. give it a two yeah, so so Tough But Fair seems to get tossed around a bunch to describe games that have like very difficult mechanics that demand mastery over them. Um, 
Dark, Dark Souls is one of them where you're essentially waiting and spamming invincibility, spamming dodge for invincibility frames before you can get one or two hits in, and that's that's the game. Um, th this game has one mechanic, is, and that is dodge. It's the Piccolo special, um, and it's it's interesting because the game seems particularly fast paced, but it actually wants you to be really patient. Uh, the the levels don't have time limits, and escalation is based on what progress you make not how long you spend doing a given thing. Um, which, which is good, because you're just given a bunch of tasks you need to accomplish. Catch bottles and put them into cauldrons. Smash barrels. Stay in a spotlight for nine minutes while everything is exploding around you. And th this game has a thing where, you know what? I can't get mad at it. Because I know there, 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 there were a couple moments where I went, ah, oh, that's bullshit. I totally, nope, nope. If I had stopped and I had waited and I had taken stock of my surroundings, I would have known that that was not the time to go for the thing I'm supposed to do. I should have waited. Um, and the, the one thing I didn't realize at first was that the looping screen is actually kind of crucial for some of the challenges uh, where you can go up, you can go to the, the leftmost side of the screen and then appear on the rightmost side of the screen. That's almost required for the, uh, for the potion puzzle thing, which by the way, can just eat a bag of dicks. Oh my God. That took forever for me to figure out. And uh, yeah. Um, the one, the one after that is just an exercise in patience. Cause like there's a spotlight that moves around and you have to stay in it for a certain amount of time. All the while hell is just reeking around you. Um, it's actually pretty decent. Um, the, the scope of the game is limited, and yeah, you're going to get that Super Meat boy S challenge, where it's just, you have, to, you have to master the very limited mechanics of this game, and it will, it will, it will test you, and that, that's pretty good. Um, mo most times I just rage quit and like actually smash a bunch of stuff like Ben was joking about. Uh, this was not one of those games, so I'll give it a solid two chairs. Good job, Paranam. I keep thinking it means you're taint. <laughs> very good. Um, well, this is definitely Panarium, a sadistic circus for sure. This is Super Mario Brothers on hard mode. It gets very hard very quick, but it's also very addictive and brings you back wanting more. And you, you got to really be really prepared to die a lot. And what I loved um, about it is the opening. One of the one of the neat, nicest things was the opening animation that leads into the gameplay is very thematic and fluid and fits the vintage circus theme. It was, you know, very, very fluid. And the art style and soundtrack are very charming. And I really enjoyed playing, actually, the endless arcade mode um, because the default campaign was so hard. It, it was really hard. I got to, like, the fifth level and, and just I couldn't get past. But I, I want to want to go back and play this game again. And for me, a game that does that, that, that masters that, that makes me want to come back for more, um, I give it three chairs and I got three chairs on my Linux game cast shirt, but I don't know if you can see them. <laughs> so I got the three chair moon shirt merch. <laughs> so. uh, very, very, very good. Yeah, this, this, this is, uh, this is definitely one of those sort of arcade card games where a hundred percent you would be pumping quarters into this. Yes, well, it, definitely. Many, definitely. Many. Um, <laughs> it does kind of harken back to Nintendo hard 100%. And we yeah. were talking the pre-pre super shows and I mean like, this level here, this level here defeated me. I This is where I quit, but I, I didn't quit. of like, I'll never play this game again. This is going to be, all right, I, I need to kill five minutes and feel worse about my hand-eye coordination in my senior <laughs> years. And this definitely yeah. delivered. You defeated this level, though. So you I, did, I did. I did. I did. It was like, just at the one where it's like, okay, I got one more try, and then I'm going to put <laughs> it down try. and forget about it forever. <laughs> and, that, and of course, that's the fucking one where I just ace everything and I go to the next level. I'm like, okay, let's try this out. No, fuck that. Fuck that noise. <laughs> come, come, come back later. Uh, I haven't actually tried the arcade mode, um, the or the endless arcade mode. That might be a yeah. little, uh, that might be a little fun, a little more uh, that was less really tightly fun. coupled. Um, <laughs> yes, but yeah, uh, I keep wanting to call it Paranarium, but it's no. Panarium. 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 Yeah. It's 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 not it's not the space between your balls and your ass. It's Panarium, <laughs> not Panarium. Okay, and come, come coming up next, we got some hate mail, and then we're getting out of here. <laughs> Oh, no, it's the end of the show, but before we get out of here, we want to give everyone a chance to hate on us, hate on you. And if you want to do that, head over to LinuxGameCast.com, tap the contact button. Look at that. Look at those three horrible creatures. Uh, ignore them. Close your eyes. 
<laughs> Select the topic. We got a couple of things in there. Pick the right show. Just hit the send button. Because uh, we got that fancy new spam thing. So you don't even have to prove that you're smarter than a bot. And you know what? If Google or this application tells you you're a bot, I got some bad news for you. You're a bot. So uh, go mine some Bitcoins or something. Jordan, what do we got up this week? <laughs> this week, we got, we, got, we got some jolly festivities from Bradley <laughs> Pariah. And he says, I was listening to the audio podcast on the way to work. Completely content to finish the episode on my way home. I arrived in the parking lot to hear about the hat. I had to find the spot in the video to see it. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I mean, for for those of you who missed that, um, yeah. one, one, one of the one of the pack, Amazon packages that we had uh, got from uh, Frank's fuck Mike G. fuck wall. Yeah, yeah Mike, Mike, Mike G sent uh, sent a uh, sent a Santa hat that Frank is currently wearing. Look at him cup those yes. balls, those white <laughs> balls. <laughs> Ball up. Listen, it doesn't matter if you it doesn't matter if you have one ball, two balls, fluffy balls, coarse balls, balls, balls. <laughs> they're, 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 still, they're still balls. I don't, I don't know. Get me, get me out of here. Listen, man, I am kind of surprised that somebody like watched the video version of the show. Have you ever <laughs> done that? I know I am absolutely guilty of this. Uh, a lot of the audio stuff I listen to, not necessarily in the car, but I'll be listening to something around the house, and you'll hear something going on you're like shit i gotta go see that I gotta, uh, yeah mm. <laughs> oh, oh yeah like usually usually i'll have like a youtube video of like a podcast or something just sort of uh, yeah ab absent-mindedly mm -hmm. keeping it in the background just for some noise mm -hmm. and yeah mm -hmm. there's there's definitely like wait what what did they say gotta 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 go back. wait what just happened is somebody <laughs> on fire i don't know that, yeah that, 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 that is what youtube has on twitch because you can do that while they're still live streaming well, this is true. I mean, Twitch has got some things. Hi, Twitch. I don't know. Do you, Hi, Twitch. Do you smash <laughs> buttons on Twitch or something? Well, well, you you you, 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 you can get you can, you can give us bits. You can, yeah. And, and I I don't I don't I don't I don't know, man. It seems like such a weird dynamic because like now now if you want people to give you more bits, you have to call them out. So people literally just donate to hear you say their name on the internet. And to <laughs> me, that's strange. <laughs> say my name. Yeah. Say my name. Say my name. I don't have any bits for you. Say baby, I love you. That's all I got. That's terrifying. You know what? We're, we're just going to close it on that because. Okay. That's horrible. Jill, thanks for showing up. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for having me. And um, oh, I that was wonderful to fill in for Pedro, and I really enjoyed doing the show. It was well, the, yeah. it was the last show in the network I hadn't been on. So <laughs> now you understand well, that. I mean, why were you curious? Like, Pedro, why'd you take off? It's so fucking easy. Oh, you just just sit there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a piece of cake. I, I mean, hell, I was a cardboard cutout on Wednesday, and I still did the thing, dude. Yeah, it's been like three episodes. Where we just put that thing up. Nobody knew. Yeah. No, I know. <laughs> All right. Let's roll some credits and say thank you. <laughs> yes. Because on that mm. bombshell, it's time to cue that Yay. music. You can always find us around 930 <laughs> Eastern Standard Moon Time where we're coming to you live in your face. Thanks to everyone who showed up, <laughs> including Pennywise. He must have smelled Rocket League. He's like, oh, look, I just <laughs> happened to show up. As one does. Yes. Um, you can find me at Vince Stone on Twitter, uh, something on Mastodon. I'm there. And used to be on G. I, I'm still on G. Plus, man. Come say hi, fam. Smash that plus, G. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm Jordan Smung. If you were listening to the long form version of this, you understand why I very rarely post on social media. But if you're interested in following <laughs> me for retweets of odd, funny shit and thought provoking crap, yes, thought provoking. You can fi follow me at Twitter at The Burning Pool. <laughs> At Mastodon, at uh, mass.linuxgamecast.com at Frojo, or plus Jordan Swung at Google Plus for however long that continues to exist. I'm going to be the last one posting on that fucker. I know it. I know it. <laughs> and, and I'm plus Jill Bryant on Google Plus and at Jill underscore Linux Girl on, on Twitter and Mastodon. And this was awesome. <laughs>
I got two morales are on the, on the GameCast Weekly. Man, if I if I was on the show, I, I'd probably plug like some other projects I was part of, Joe. No. Yeah, maybe, maybe, oh, maybe yes. some non maybe some nonprofit oh, yeah. that you're associated with. Maybe. Yes, 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 yes. Of course. So I'm um, a, a co-organizer of LinuxChicksLA.org, and um, uh, spreading diversity to the Linux ecosystem. And LWW is coming up on Wednesday, so make sure to tune in, everyone. <laughs> and for our, all our other streams. <laughs> I, I mean, so so th this this time next week, supposedly, we're, <laughs> we're, we're, we're getting Le Strider, so. Yes. <laughs> I was yes, hoping Matthew's he would forget. Don't remind him. Oh, no. <laughs> See, I... I, I, I just want them on so we get drunken rants and you two trying to hate fuck each other. It's going to be great. Oh, <laughs> lovely. You see, you, you get to s sit on the yeah, side I'm, I'm literally, gotta, I'm, Yeah, right. I'm I, literally just going to come with a bag of popcorn and just munch on it for the entire fucking podcast. I'm looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to choke <laughs> on a kernel and die. That'll be our kernel panic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much. Thank you, Vin. And thank you, Jordan. And thank you, Pedro. Hail Santa. This is awesome. <laughs> Hell Santa. Thank you, Pedro, for being a layabout and doing nothing. <laughs> oh. Mash that bell, fam. <laughs> oh, this was so exciting. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Never thought I'd be on this show in a million years. <laughs> so surreal. <laughs> and you know, you know what the funny thing is? If you had, at any point just asked me, like, yo, Ben, can I be on Linux Gamecast Weekly? We've been like, yeah, sure. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Goes to show you, it never hurts to ask. Yes. Unless you're asking for someone to attach a junk, jumper cables to your testicles, yes. in which case it will hurt a lot. Yeah. Aww. Bye, everyone. We love you. Five dudes. <laughs>